Hi, this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment, and today I am working on my sort of, this is a green sketchbook by Kyokyo, and I actually started this sketchbook last year, and this was just something colored pencil. I only owned a couple, and I wanted to see if I liked the polychromos, if I liked this paper. This was just a lot of trial, and it sort of took on its own little thing and I enjoyed doing it. It was a ton of work. I was spending about two to three hours per each illustration and I kind of was just making up my own little thing to do while I waited for time to pass and I was waiting for Mermaid, which that's a drawing challenge for mermaids in the month of May. And once I started that one, I started working really large. I was working in an A4, and I'm, for me, that's pretty huge. I never typically work that big. And it became too much to try and do a mermaid illustration a day and one of these a day, because that would have been at least five hours of drawing, and I don't have five hours to dedicate to illustration like that. I mean, I wish I did, but that's not something realistic in my life right now. So I kind of dropped this one, did Mermaid, kept going with other drawing challenges, and then never picked this sketchbook back up again. And I thought, well, there's still time in January and I'm done with watercoloring my birds and I'll take a little break from watercolor right now and then I could always go back to watercolor for another challenge later. I've actually never done Mermaid as a watercolor challenge. And that kind of sounds like fun to me. I think, I think I might try that. I'm not sure. But this is just a combination of me combining sort of faces of people, of portraits, and different animals, and just being really weird and experimenting. And I kind of wanted to do a little pep talk. So I'm on Twitter. And Twitter's not for everybody. Twitter is sort of that platform where anyone can say anything to anybody and people don't seem to find fault with that. And for me personally, I think Twitter is a very strange platform. Like I don't feel super, super comfortable on that platform. Um, I definitely find some of the most amazing and inspirational art on there. But, and I retweet it and promote the things that are just absolutely beautiful. But for me, like talking and reaching out, it just feels strange. And so I sort of am listening because it seems to be, and I'm 42, it seems to be a platform that is more utilized and more easily understood by younger folks. And so I'm always listening to what the younger folks are writing about different things within the art community and the different industries, especially animation. I don't know what's going on over there right now in animation, but it sounds to me like animators are not getting paid a livable wage, a fair wage. I'm hearing from young illustrators that teachers are sort of attacking some of the things they enjoy drawing. Like they really enjoy drawing anime or fan art or some of these other things. And so I kind of want to do a pep talk just saying, don't wait. Don't wait for a commission and don't wait for permission. Draw the things you want to draw. Draw the things that make you happy that make you smile, that, that are on your mind, that you want to put to paper. Draw the things you are thinking about that you love. Draw these things. These are the things that should be put to paper. If you constantly go to bed every single night thinking about this one thing and how much fun it'd be to draw that one thing, that is the one thing you absolutely should be drawing. I don't like to read or hear about artists saying that anime is not art. Anime is art. 
fan art is art. Art done on an iPad or computer or a Wacom tablet. That is art. That is all art and it is beautiful art. Make the art you want to make because I'll tell you something. No one's ever going to be there to say, go ahead. People aren't going to give you permission to do the things you want to do. You just kind of have to do them. At some point, you just say, you know what, this is what makes me happy. And what you will find with drawing some of the very specific things, if it is very niche or it's not something super mainstream, if it is something that makes you happy, I'll tell you right now, there is going to be another person in the world that your piece of art makes them happy too. It is going to bring them joy. It is going to make them smile. If you like drawing super creepy art because you think it looks cool and it's awesome, chances are someone else is going to think it is super awesome too and they're going to love it. And isn't that the whole point of art? To draw the things you like, to create the things you love, to make amazing stuff that's on your mind. If you're working through something and this is how you express what you're working through, isn't, I just, it seems to me that time is very short. It seems to pass by slowly and give the illusion that it's long, but it just really, really isn't. And if you're not making art that sort of makes you smile and makes you happy and makes you want to keep creating, then what is art for? Because to me, I it just got to a point in my life where I had taken a break from art for so long because of having kids and different things coming up. And I was so good at making excuses in my life for why I couldn't do this and why I couldn't do that and why I didn't feel inspired. I wasn't feeling inspired because I wasn't doing what I wanted to do. And I didn't think I could or I should. And I don't know, at some point I just kind of stopped caring. And I just realized that being selfish and doing exactly what I want to do was the single best thing for me and for my art. And it made me feel better. And the more I felt better, the more I wanted to create. And the more I wanted to create, the more I felt better. <laughs> like it just became this sort of circle of, yeah, that's strange, that's unusual, why are you doing that? Because I want to. <laughs> because maybe some people need to wear a bird on their heads. And so that's why I'm drawing it. I Just make the things that make you happy and draw the things that you are interested in. There is value and there are art skills to be learned in every style, in every medium, on every surface. There are techniques to all of it. There are enough YouTubers on YouTube with tutorials that things can be learned. There's a library full of books and access. Just do the things you want to do. It's life is so short and art is so amazing and beautiful. And honestly, there are people who want to see it. I want to see your beautiful art. I want to see what you create that you love. That's important to you. I just, this is something I came up with people sort of turning into animals. It was an idea I had. It's not a specific drawing challenge. I wasn't, sometimes I don't feel inspired by drawing challenges. That's okay. Sometimes I don't care for the prompts and so I just don't do them. That's okay. You don't have to do all the things for exposure. Exposure is nice. Um, if that's your one motivation, then I would say, yeah, probably stick to fan art because that gives the most amount of exposure out of any other art form. But if you just are interested in strange and unusual things and you seem to be the only one, do that anyway. Do absolutely do that anyway. It's okay. 
There is an audience for that, I guarantee you. They will find you eventually. Just keep doing what you love. Keep making and keep inspiring yourself and pushing yourself to create strange and unusual things. And you will be rewarded. And it may be small and it may seem... Sometimes places like Instagram can seem overwhelming with artists and creators and it sort of feels like throwing a couple pieces up online and no one sees it. Don't worry. Just the consistency is what brings people back. Be consistent. Keep going. Do what you love. We are here to support each other, promote each other, and encourage each other. Art is so rewarding and it's so good for us and it's just such an amazing it's such an amazing job if you want it or a hobby if you want it i hope you have a wonderful day and i will talk to you tomorrow bye